I have a special guest today. He's on the way right now. All right. Uh, you're on the side. Hello. 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 You're on the side. Oh, you? Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. I can turn it like this. Yes. Good. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What good. about you? I'm good too. Thank you. I'm a little bit nervous, but <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, right, yeah. And now, uh, um, okay. I, I have, uh, as you know, uh, I'm sure many people know him, but uh, I would like to introduce Mr. Suhaib um, Al Jabal. Is that okay? <laughs> Yes, Suhaib Al Jabal. Uh, okay. That's my name. Okay. Uh, he's an independent journalist from Syria, and. Uh, he is always reporting in Arabic, and I was always wondering what he's reporting. So I just, you know, like brave enough to um, send him a message to see if he was interested in uh, joining me on the live chat. And then he accepted my offer. So thank you very much. Um, if you could. You're I, I'm sure everybody knows you, but uh, some people from the United States may know know you. So if you could um, introduce yourself just a little bit. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you uh, for having me. And uh, I began to uh, in introducing myself. I'm a Syrian journalist uh, working in the field uh, since uh, 2011. Um, I was uh, an independent journalist since 2011, actually, and uh, um, I was in Syria until the year uh, 2014, okay. when ISIS uh, entered uh, Syria. Mm. Um, I've been arrested by ISIS, actually, also, and uh, by regime forces, and now I'm uh, also there's chasing and tracking down by other side, other parties like SDF, mm -hmm. uh, the Syrian Democratic Forces, or like they call it. Um, actually, I'm working in this field as a humanitarian beauty mm -hmm. uh, for my people, uh, for the Syrians, and uh, I'm doing my best to documenting the violations which is uh, committed by a war party against them, against civilians. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, it's a moral and humanitarian duty. Uh, I don't want to talk about myself a lot, but mm -hmm. I want to talk about uh, the people whom I'm defending uh, mm -hmm. them, uh, the Syrians, the uh, Syrian revolution, and the people mm -hmm. now which is uh, whom who are living in, uh, inside the liberated area. And uh, the civilians in Syria in, in general and everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, I, I'm very grateful and thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm really concerning uh, or concerned in the in, uh, interviews of the, the people or, or what's what happening now in, in Syria and mm -hmm. talking about this issue for uh, the international community. Uh, we know there is a lot of people around the world did not know or don't know what, what's happening, what's the, rea the reality and the truth inside Syria. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I'm here now. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me translate it briefly into Japanese. Um, so it's, it's 3.30 in the morning over there, so I'm not sure anybody is from Japan watching, but uh, I'd like them to watch you watch our interview, so I'm going to translate. Um, eto, I to Mr. Suhaib Javil is an independent freelance journalist who was in Syria for 2014 and was in も経験してるそうです。え、現在はえ、ちょっとあの、シリアの近くで、ヒューマニタリアン、えっと、人権保護団体 
の一員としてお仕事をされていますで,できるだけあの、まあ、あのフリージャーナリストですけどできるだけあの人権保護のお手伝いをしながら、うんえー、とシリアの中のことを世界中に伝えたいなと思っていますということです。で私は、えーとたまたま、えっと、yeah, you, you gave me a birthday message, so that's why I, I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> that's it. I, えっと、誕生日の,とあの祝お祝いの言葉を彼からいただいて、それでおあのちょっとコンタクトをしてみることにしたんですが、えー、今回インタビューをさせてくださいと。えっ、ー、とお願いしたら心よく受けてくださいました。えー、彼は自分のことよりもシリアの内情のことをえっ、ー、と伝えたいので、あまり自分のことを話したくないということですが、えっ、ー、と一応あの彼のあのすあのえっ、ー、とバックグラウンドを紹介したいと思います。えっ、ー、とですね。で、Would you like to uh, briefly uh, explain in Arabic?、Uh, I'm not sure if it What you were talking about, or uh, um,、uh, you mean、uh, you want me to talk in Arabic for the people just, who are watching us? Yeah, just briefly what you were talking about, what you were going to I mean, that you were you were、um, why you were here. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, uh, Mr. Buffett, uh, say the Mario, he and Ashifa, uh, Nashpa Hokia, uh, America, you can see. لكنها يابانية الأصل تحاول دائما أن توضح حقيقة الوضع داخل سوريا للمجتمع الدولي للمجتمع الأمريكي والمجتمع الياباني أيضا تحاول يعني تحدث بعدة لغات مشان توصل الرسالة بشكل أوضح يعني أنا حاليا عم أشرح تحدثنا عنه باللغة العربية لكن هي ترجمة كلامي هذا للغة اليابانية أيضا قبل قليل نحاول إنه نوضح للناس بشكل عام يعني حول العالم اللي هم الأشخاص اللي نريد نوصل إلهم بأنه ما يحدث في سوريا الآن هو حملة قتل ممنهج من قبل عدة أطراف من نظام الأسد عصابات الأسد وروسيا ويعني عدة أطراف أخرى داعش وغيرها من الأطراف وطبعا وأيضا يعني الولايات المتحدة الموجودة في المنطقة أيضا فيعني نحاول أن نوضح كل التوثيقات اللي تحصلنا عليها وهذا الشيء راح يتم ترجمته وأيضا هو بالأساس يعني راح يكون باللغة الإنجليزية عبر البث المباشر. I said that We are trying to、uh, show the reality, the truth, what's、mm-hmm. happening now inside Syria for,、mm-hmm. uh, in several、uh, languages. <laughs>、yes. We are talking now, I was talking in Arabic language, and you、uh, began in English language, and also you have translated、uh, what I said to the Japanese people,、mm-hmm. which I,、uh, so, I, mean, uh, I love them <laughs> so,、uh, uh, so much, and、uh, I'm respecting them.、Uh, I, that's what, what I said.、Uh, mm-hmm. Also,、okay. um, I said that there is a lot of、uh, war parties inside Syria,、mm-hmm. uh, a lot of、uh, armies inside Syria, and uh, uh, all of them,、uh, mm-hmm. or most of them,、uh, targeting the people, the civilian people,、mm-hmm. innocent、mm-hmm. people. And、uh, as a humanitarian and、uh, moral duty, we are Trying to、uh, show the, the truth. And now I will、mm-hmm. uh, talk more, uh, uh, more details or present more details and、mm-hmm. uh, realities、mm-hmm. for the people who are watching this live video. Okay, great. Thank you. Well,、uh, first of all, I would like to ask you one question to,、um, like, um, maybe a basic question. But,、uh, okay, in, you started. Revolution in 2011, March.、Um, mm-hmm. As I, I told you, that、uh, we, had, um, we had an earthquake, a big earthquake,、yes. and a tsunami、mm-hmm. in Japan. And then many people ask me that why Japan is not really supporting Syria. So I, I want to explain just a little bit, and then, then maybe even then I'll ask you some questions. But、uh, um, I think so that the tsunami and then 
uh, earthquake destroyed, you know, um, probably uh, one sixth of Japan. Was, it was mm -hmm. the damage was very bad. So it took so us probably. That. Oh no, thank you very much. But it took us about two three years to, you know, to be able to function um, normal again. It's not normal yet, but it mm, normal again. So until then, all the news, the top news was about earthquake and yeah, okay. tsunami. Yeah. So, and then I remember that uh, maybe a year later, um, when I went back to Japan, and, and I remember seeing Syria on a newspaper, just a little bit, you know, small portion. But you know, it's still uh, maybe three years later, then, in, then started talking about Syria. But still, um, so, so we, we, we probably don't know about um, Arab Springs much in Japan. And you don't so know that, about what? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I, I, we, probably most of the Japanese don't really know about Arab Springs and, in, in, mm. and oh, also okay, how, yeah. how the um, revolution started. So that, that's, mm. that's, that's why. And then when we realized that there was a uh, war in Syria, uh, already, you know, ISIS was there, and then um, Al Nusra, Al Qaeda, mm. and, you know, everybody was there. So we, most of the Jap Japanese people, think that uh, that that war is against terrorists. So that's the mm. kind of that's yeah that that's the basic information we don't know about. So I like to know when did you notice that the propaganda against Syrian revolution started. So, um, actually, first of all, I want to say that I'm so sorry about what happened in ah, Japan. Thank uh, you. We are, uh, as a human uh, mm -hmm. being, we are so sorry about this issue, about the earthquake, and we, uh, we have so a lot of uh, videos about this, and mm -hmm. we are supporting Japanese people uh, and the things we can support them because you know there's a uh, mm -hmm. far uh, distance mm -hmm. between us and Japan mm -hmm. uh, and about the, the your question about mm -hmm. what happened in the beginning of the Syrian revolution or what's called the Arab Spring and mm -hmm. uh, in the area and mm -hmm. the area in general uh, I'll talk about uh, my experience I'll talk about with me and what um, uh, a witness on, on it. Um, I was one of the uh, people who mm -hmm. uh, went out on the demonstrations against uh, the Syrian regime, Assad's regime, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are only uh, we we was uh, asking only for for freedom, uh, oh. for uh, the the free uh, press. Uh, and media uh, agencies, and uh, also for uh, uh, talking freely and what we want to talk mm -hmm. and uh, um, supporting. Uh, we are in the first, in the beginning. We are we was talking about supporting the the uh, country mm -hmm. and solving the problems, the economic problems and the security problems. We did not ask for. Uh, uh, for for the uh, defeating of, of Assad regime at the be beginning, uh, mm. we was only demonstrating, uh, mm -hmm. making demonstrations mm -hmm. uh, to get our freedom, because there is a lot of dictatorial dictatorship in uh, in, uh, in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody can talk uh, freely. No, ca mm. nobody can talk uh, mm. uh, except the things that the government wants them to talk. Mm -hmm. And that's a very bad thing. That's uh, that was at the beginning, and mm -hmm. then uh, the uh, security uh, militants uh, mm -hmm. began to uh, targeting us in the demonstrations, and they killed a large number of uh, people who uh, went in these uh, demonstrations. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of my friends lost their lives during uh, mm -hmm. these uh, demonstrations, and. Uh, also, I've lost uh, uh, 
some uh, people of my family. Mm. So then uh, in the year 2012 and uh, 2013, mm -hmm. uh, to protect the civilians, mm -hmm. there was uh, an army called the Free Syrian Army mm -hmm. tried to protect us, tried to protect civilians, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, targeted by Homes, uh, home, uh, sorry, home targeted by uh, Assad regime, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of uh, uh, documentations mm -hmm. in the uh, mm -hmm. website and mm -hmm. YouTube or other websites shows how uh, was the situation in this period of time. So, mm -hmm. uh, in this year, 2013 and 2014, then uh, Assad's regime trying to uh, bring a lot of parties, a lot of militants, and a lot of terrorist people to Syria, and that's also uh, documented. And uh, mm -hmm. I was a witness on this, mm -hmm. uh, like ISIS, uh, mm -hmm. like a lot of terrorist organizations. Uh, mm -hmm. Assad regime allowed them to enter Syria, mm -hmm. the Iranian militants, mm -hmm. and in this period of time, the massacres began in Syria. Mm. Uh, I'll talk about my, my province, also the province which I belong to, Derzor. Uh, mm, yes, yes. There's a lot of massacres which mm. is committed uh, in the year 2014 14, by okay. ISIS and by regime forces. Both, oh, okay. A lot, of, a lot of crimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after the year 2014, the situation mm -hmm. still, until uh, now, uh, as it is, uh, as uh, it is, and uh, there is a lot of uh, militants and terrorist organizations until now uh, in in the Syrian lands and in Syria. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, during this period of time, I was documenting the violations, uh, which I'll talk about it after a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. はい、あの、そんなのチャンスライ。えっと、2011年の3月に革命が始まったんですが、その時はもう以前にも話したように踊ったり歌ったり、しながらえっとそのあの、シリアに興味がないのかっていう話で。で、2011年の3月ってちょうど、え、東日本大震災が起きた時だったので、それで復興にの手がかかるまで時間がかかって、復興するまでま、2、3年、3年ぐらいはかかっているので、他の国
truly uh, I'll uh, tell you all the, the realities and the truth. I was one of them in some period of time, mm -hmm. in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, because I want to defend uh, mm -hmm. my family, mm -hmm. actually, which mm -hmm. is uh, supposed to a lot of uh, targeting and bombing and the area uh, which I was living in was targeted by Assad regime. So mm -hmm. I was trying to defend mm -hmm. the FSA, the Free Syrian Army, mm -hmm. our uh, people whom uh, uh, display, uh, spilt or something like this of the uh, army, the Assad mm -hmm. army, because they uh, mm -hmm. refused killing people. Uh, re refused the orders of killing uh, the people who inside the demonstrations mm -hmm. and uh, there is a lot of videos shows how mm -hmm. uh, uh, the FSA protecting these demonstrations mm -hmm. that was at the beginning of the Syrian mm -hmm. revolution mm -hmm. and uh, then Assad regime print, uh, brought a lot of uh, militants a lot of terrorist organizations that, that also uh, uh, documented uh, to fight only the FSA. Assad regime brought the Iranians, brought the Russians, brought the ISIS organization also, and I will talk about how Assad regime uh, uh, operating or brought uh, these mm. uh, terrorist people. And I have a lot of documentation, documentation. about mm. this. Yes, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, and then uh, we can say that the, all the parties inside Syria, uh, since the beginning of the uh, Syrian revolutions, uh, the revolution trying to defeat the FSA. But mm -hmm. uh, I think, in my opinion, that uh, they will lose all these parties. They will lose their war uh, for uh, a simple reason, mm -hmm. because the FSA. Uh, protecting people, mm -hmm. the FSA duty and uh, uh, the, the FSA uh, uh, in these areas, in these liberated areas, mm -hmm. trying to protect the civilians, uh, civilians living now inside the liberated areas, and they can say anything they want, they, uh, they are talking freely, they are uh, mm -hmm. going to their works and uh, continuing the uh, uh, work and uh, daily life and uh, mm. nobody of the FSA targeting them. And what's the proof of my, uh, of this, uh, of this thing? That there is one uh, clear proof that there is over or more than uh, uh, 7 million people living now inside the liberated areas. These seven million people, or those seven million, uh, seven million people, fled of the Assad regime-controlled areas, mm -hmm. the Iranians mm -hmm. and the Russians, mm -hmm. and even the coalition's areas left the, these areas and went to uh, towards the, the liberated uh, areas, northern Syria. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So that's a simple proof, and there is a lot of other proofs on uh, what I said. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. okay. We tried so many times to clarify this point. Media did not help us. Ah, there is uh, another point about media. Uh, okay, media. Unfortunately, yes. um, unfortunately, there is a lot of uh, uh, news agencies and channels around the world are mm -hmm. supporting the Russians and supporting mm -hmm. uh, Assad regime unfortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are trying to uh, show what happened, what's happening in, inside Syria as a civil war. And mm -hmm. it's not a civil war. Actually, it's a revolution against mm -hmm. the uh, terrorist uh, uh, Assad regime and against the uh, uh, other militants, the uh, terrorist organizations. And uh, I think now everybody knows uh, uh, what's the names or the civil names of these terrorist organizations. Uh, what I want to say also that mm -hmm. the uh, Russians uh, and some of the other countries trying also 
to uh, uh, intimating uh, people uh, that uh, was in uh, that uh, what happening or what happening now inside Syria is a civil war. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the truth that uh, uh, it's a popular revolution against uh, oppression, against uh, murder, and uh, against uh, dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. と今、えーっとですねかえー、シリアの自由軍について話をあの聞きたいという質問があったのでそれに答えてくださったんですが、えーっとえー、っとシリア自由軍が、えー、っとメディアではテロリストと言われていますがこれは革命,革命と,、えー、っと市民を守る軍であって、えー、っと,ともうあっ敵がアサド政権、ロシア、イラン、えー、とアイシス、アルケーダ、他のテロリスト、すべてなんです。で、市民を守ってるのが、えー、シリア自由軍。で、それはもう、本当にど,どうやってアイシスが入ってきたとか、えー、とその自由軍がアイシスと戦ってたり、えーと、それからアサド政権と戦っているっていうのは、すべてド,ドキュメントされているんですが。どうしてもロシアとかアメリカもそうですけど革命戦争なのにそれを市,市民戦争だという、えっと、報道しか絶対しないんですね。でその革命戦争ということをあの完全に隠しているのででも彼自身も、えっと、自由軍に入ってであの理由は家族や仲間を守りたいからで、えっと、革命じゃなくてデモンストレーション中にもあの友人や家族も亡くしているので、それで、えー、自由軍に入ろうと思って入ったという。Yeah, great, great. Thank you.